Same? If they are first in the problem. They're just first in the problem. So whatever is first in the problem, that's going to be your X. Like, just make it simple. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just, hey, this is the first information I'm given. I'm going to base everything on that actual part of the combination. Yes, sir? Do you need our iPads? Oh Only for a calculator. Oh, I didn't complete that. I didn't close it. Okay. All right. And we know that hibiscus costs $12 per pound. So the total cost for hibiscus is going to be 12x, right? Our pick is up. So if I want, you're fine, you can fill it in right now. If I want jasmine tea and I want the total to be 16, then the amount of jasmine is going to, uh, is going to be 16 minus x. Because the total is 16, Jasmine's going to be whatever I already took away of the hibiscus is going to be left over to her Jasmine. Oh. And Jasmine tea is actually very expensive. It's $40. So I'm going to have 40 times the quantity 16 minus X. That's actually pretty simple. Okay. I like normal And then if you remember, we want our mixture to be 16 pounds at $25 each. So 25 times 16. So then I'm going to create my equation from this. Where I'm going to take hibiscus plus jasmine to equal the mixture. So the hibiscus is going to be 12x plus 40 times 16 minus x will equal 25 times 16. Okay, yes. And now everything is just in one variable. So I'm just going to solve for x. Remember, x will be how much hibiscus tea I have. To find jasmine, I'll take 16 minus that amount. So I'm going to end up with 12x plus 640 minus 40x equals 400. Well, they're both going to be negative, so it'll end up being a positive value, right? So 12 minus 40, negative 28x plus 640 equals the 400 because I combined my like terms. Now you're not going to get a perfect exact value, right? You're going to have like an estimate. Let me double check and make sure I did that right. So you're just going to want to round to the nearest tenth, right? So round to the nearest tenth. So when I divide by negative 28, I'm going to get x is about 8.6. Wait, how do you write the, 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 the equation? They're just like two little curves. It's just like two little wavy lines. Right. So that tells me how many pounds of hibiscus I have. So then you need to figure out how many pounds of jasmine there would be. It's the about symbol because we had to round. Because when you divide it, it's not a perfect number. Ben, how much Jasmine? Uh, 7.4. Hmm? 7.4 7. 7. is correct. Make sure you write out, of course we have to put about because it's not exact. And make sure you identify both T's.
Griffin, would you like a clipboard? No, I've got a clipboard right here. Okay, once you're done with that, turn to example three. Okay, example three. We're going to do a little science here. Very exciting. So, some of this you guys struggled with on the Ed Puzzle, like how much of puree is puree, right? Okay, the reason those questions were on there is because, like, when you're doing um, like a hundred percent, like if it's water, then it has like zero percent of anything else, right? And then if it's if it's a, a total other thing, it's going to be a hundred percent of that. So it's just kind of to get you in that mindset of like sometimes you know, but it doesn't have to be right there put out for you, right? Like you know, puree is just like what was it? What kind of pear? Was it pear puree? Peach, peach puree, puree, right? So peach puree is only going to be peach puree, right? So they just shouldn't have to say it's a hundred percent. Like you just know it's a hundred percent. This one doesn't? Yeah, I already tried it. Like okay. Yesterday. It will make sense when we do it together, I promise. Okay. So we have a chemist, right? Maybe some future chemists in this room. Not Griffin, but maybe somebody else. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you going to be a chemist when you grow up? Maybe? You can't, you can't, be, you can't have a binder like that if you're going to be a chemist. In science? Really? Maybe you will be a chemist. What? Wait, wait, wait. You can sit through a class without arguing with a teacher? Yeah. It's science. So why do you do it Okay. So you can do that for Miss Decker. Good to know. Good to know. Oh yeah, Miss Coy. Oh, I'm just speak three times a class. No, I think, what is it in a week? No, it was a day. It was a day. Or no, it was a serpent. Hmm. You were still putting the question. I think it was three times okay. a day. Like he would put post-it notes on his desk. Okay. Hey, I really need you to stop doing that. I offered you a clipboard. Go get yourself a clipboard or don't use that. But that's not that's clearly not working. It's not a good strategy. You good? Okay. All right. Anybody in this room could be a chemist. We have 25% concentrated acid solution and a 75% concentrated acid solution. How many liters of each do they need to make 500 liters of a 55% concentrated? So, guys, this sounds complicated, but it's not that much different than um, we have, you know, walnuts for a price, and then we have raisins for a price, and how many do we need of each to get it to a certain price? So it's, the words might be a little bit more intimidating, but it's, it's not that different of a process, okay? So we're going to draw a picture, right? So we have a little container that has 25% of the solution. Adam, draw this picture. Thanks. And then we have a container that has 75% of the solution concentrated. And what we want is to find out how much of each thing do we need to get 55%, right? So we're gonna mix these together, what? right? Well, like that would equal 100, but how would you get 50? No, so, so I think what you're, so what you're missing is like, it's not 25% of what they're gonna have at the end. It's saying that the solution 
is 25% concentrated acid, which means this solution is like less acidic than this one. It's not saying how much there is in each container. It's just saying one is more powerful than the other. Okay, so what we want is something that's somewhere in, in between those. Okay, so how much of this do I need to add to this so that it, it lowers the acidic value? Right, so we're gonna try to figure it out. Yes, uh, just go ahead, I can't get to my pass right now. I'm making a video. Hmm? Take your iPad for, yeah, for optics. Optics, they don't get pulled over by the ops. Where are you going? Yep. Are the oppositions brother? Okay, so does that, Mason, does that make sense? So this one is, imagine like, okay, you guys, when you were little and you had orange juice, did like your mom pour water in it because it was too, like, too acidic? No. So I have, I have to do that for my children. Like, I have to put... I have to add water to their orange juice because otherwise it's too much for them. It gives them a stomach ache, what? right? So I have to like make it less acidic by adding something that is, has no acid at all, right? So imagine this being orange juice and me adding something to it to make it less like painful for their stomachs. Does that make sense? Right? So it's not going to add up to 100. I'm going to need... Guys, please stop talking. What I'm going to try to end up with is 500 liters that has this acidic, acidic level, right? So I'm going to, so I don't know how much of this I need and how much of this I need. That's what I'm trying to find. So that in the end, I have this giant container, 500 liters, and it's this powerful. Okay, so look at, think of these as like powerful values rather than actual how much I have. So like the, the one on the left would be like 75% water and 25% acid? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the one on the right might be 75% acid and 25% water. We don't have that much information, but if that's the way to think about it, for you to like picture it, yeah. Okay, so the, the main thing that really tricks people here is when you're writing these percentages, you need to write them as a decimal, right? So because the 25% was given first, that's going to be my X, right? I'm going to have X number of liters of this one, and my total is going to be 500. So how would I show what this is going to be? 500 minus X. 500 minus X. We're not going to have a different variable. We're going to stick every, everything's going to be around X. So this is going to be 500 minus X liters. And then this is going to be 500 liters. That's our goal. Okay. So the percent of acid solution as a decimal, 0.25, and mountain liters, X. So the total concentration here is 0.25 times X. So it's just like the, the price of the walnuts, how many I might actually have, and then how it would be part of the mixture. And then for 0.75, and that's going to be the amount is 500 minus X, which we put above here. So I'm going to have 0.75 times 500 minus X. Yep. So then we want our mixture to have a 0.55, a 55% of it to be acid. We want 500 liters 